Hi, my name's John from Efficiency Matrix in Air Leakage Measurement Victoria. Welcome to this YouTube video, the first of a series focused on energy efficiency in a building which would maybe be residential or commercial for heating and cooling. We'll go over what is an acceptable amount of ventilation and what isn't. As a part of these YouTube demos, we'll be showing you the difference in air leakage in the home after we remove obvious points of ventilation, stopping air going coming in and out of the building. And we're going to cover those in this video. Installing of downlight covers, removing old air conditioners, and finally, corking and sealing gaps in windows and skirting boards. To give people an idea of what sort of savings can be realised, utilising blower door testing equipment, which can detect and report on air leakage in a building envelope. The house that we're using for these demonstrations today is over 40 years old and has around three times the recommended ventilation for its size. The volume of the house is 381 cubic metres, uh, with a floor area of 159 square metres. Its recommended basic ventilation would exchange air around about 8.4 times every day. Prior to our retrofit, this house was exchanging air at 28.2 times every day. To get this house to where it is, we have installed draft stoppers or replaced fittings that have inbuilt draft stopping abilities. For example, bathroom fittings or kitchen range hoods. Remove fixed wall and ceiling vents and installed contact over evaporative cooling vents during Melbourne's cooler winter season. After undertaking these tasks, the home now exchanges air at 19.4 times a day. Uh, this is equivalent to having a one centimetre gap 26 metres long. There is much improvement still to be made. Stay tuned.